for your work slash love readings. I'm joking. I come in here trying to pick up on work energy, but it's all going in the love direction. But uh, for some, hopefully this helps in their work area as well. We are going to get loaded here. <laughs> Locked and loaded. Okay, we're ready to go here. The Paul Tarot, I'm just getting, I just got an energy when I said that, of uh, somebody just gearing down and ready to go forward. No matter what comes, I'm ready for it. So what's the first card here for? For the Virgo is always amusement here as well. The Tower, oh, okay. The Tower energy. So that's um, kind of great shock and, and disruption, right? But usually when the Tower comes down, it's there to get things in line in some kind of a higher order <clears throat> to get things in line and it, it's kind of like blessing in disguise kind of thing so the tower is here um this is in a past so this may be energy you're dealing with because you know the sense right that little flush of energy i got right away was <clears throat> it don't matter you hit me with everything you got i'll deal with <laughs> again this virgo is very cool i like the energy so <clears throat> In the past, we may have had some uh, tower fall here, and I feel like the Virgo is more than ready to take charge and move forward here. In fact, it's kind of amusing them to move forward through this energy because they feel very empowered uh, with the right side of things, okay, is what I'm getting. So the next card we have, Eight of Pentacles, okay. I haven't seen this one come out here. Eight of Pentacles is about putting work and effort into something here. Um, I, I do feel like this energy is spurring us to work harder and faster. And, you know, it's like I don't feel like the Virgo is resting on their laurels by any sense of the word. But I feel like they've been diligently putting in work. And when the tower hit, it's like I'm going to put in more work now. You just watch me burn up the pavement to get them. To get more out, I feel like this is really spurring them forward in a good way. I, I don't feel, for this Virgo I'm picking up, again, I get a masculine energy. Uh, but don't exclude that. If you're feminine, you could be in masculine energy and this could apply to you as well. But I feel um, very much, sorry, uh, hold on. Okay. Um, okay, first I gotta lay off the first energy because <laughs> they're very much putting a lot of work and effort, like we're double stepping at this point. Um, because of what happened here, the shock, and I feel like for some reason the Virgo was prepared for it. It's almost like they got the memo before everybody else did. So they're like, yep, there it is, and now, oh, yep, I'm going for it. It was like a trigger for them to do step three, four, five, and six. Now we can implement that, and they're happy because <clears throat> it's going according to plan is what I'm getting. Okay. This is good energy, though. I'm not getting a lot of devious. I'm getting uh, someone who is actually trying to trip up the devil here, and it's working. And the universe on their side, giving them intuitive nudges, here we go. And this may be part of the reason why we were so infused with knowledge of the towers, because we were infused with the knowledge from the higher center of things. We are connected to the higher power. And because of that, we're working hard to get shit done, right? Uh, okay, now, on the other side of this, where they interrupted my field here while I was trying to talk. <clears throat> it's never an interruption, though. Uh, they're showing me here this man painting a pentacle and then the, the woman. So there is some, there's an object of our affection, uh, is the sense. There's someone we are taking an interest in at this time. The sense is there's a grave disconnect because <clears throat> we may be taking a focal interest in someone here. Trying to figure them out is the sense. And look how wrong we got it here. <laughs> it's the sense. We may have someone that we're keeping an eye on. We may not know if they're working for the devil or for the light is the sense that I'm getting. And we may think they're you know, in devil energy, but they're actually not. And the the thing they're telling me here is, look at her, she's naked. She, what she said, she is what she is, but she is not hiding anything here. 
she's exposed but for some reason this Virgo is misinterpreting that something's off there they've got everything figured out on their physical plane but this one scenario here they're getting jumbled uh, jumbled messages um, and I'm not too sure why but this has nothing to do with the tower energy per se it's just an interest we've we've something they come off the side here and we're taking note of and we got we got a feeling this person's got an agenda but the universe going there's no agenda here we are what we are we are what we're talking about and that's it I think this person wants to know whether or not this is a good or a bad person and the universe is going we will find out do your due diligence you will find out and you are finding out but we're not trusting because there's little bits of information coming forward here to prove to us but we're not accepting it for some reason and there's a deeper reason to why we're not accepting it and we have to look at that and that's something that's going to come in the discovery of things but nonetheless yes we may be viewing someone here in the wrong light okay moving forward third card <laughs> you always take me down the road okay <clears throat> six of pentacles that's equal give and take that's giving to those less fortunate as well are we the less fortunate i don't feel so i feel well you know i can't get past the um <clears throat> i don't know how we are financially but i can tell you this i can't get past the um energy that um I'm dealing with my work area and I'm getting I'm shooting things out double time like if the conveyor belt was going at 1k now it's going at 4k you know like it, we're just speed it up like the production line move it forward we got to put extra effort in right now because the we got to you know we got a goal here and the progress is coming like there's they're seeing progress so they're they're putting more effort to to get that goal, that win, or whatever it is they're looking for. Now, there's the Libra scales are making me highly aware of that. So, I feel like we're trying to balance something in our life here at work. Um, oh, give me a minute here. Equal give and take, because they're going, we want to make sure that we don't overexert ourselves, but at this time, I feel very much <clears throat> enthusiasm beyond. So, are we overexerting? Eh. when you overexert you feel tired but I feel like this person's got more than enough gumption in their in their trunk to, to go forward in this energy not for very long mind you but <clears throat> that's the sense I'm getting here and and they're giving me an essence of uh, we got to make sure we don't overexert ourselves so that we're not draining ourselves in some kind of way now if we're putting more um, more input into the production line we got to make sure that those products come out and are worthy of sale kind of thing that we're not just defeating the purpose and wasting our time right so this is kind of the thing okay next line here is it's a very very strong energy with this Virgo always so it's somebody that's watching my readings that has a lot of verve for life which is good because and and they're backed by the right energy you know uh, they may be scheming and planning but it's all in the right the right ways it's not in a devious way it's to uncover something here they may be trying to get a win but I feel like it's it's on the good side but we may have a perception of someone here that is a little off okay the tower energy on top of that again something came in our past here or is in our present and shocked us we have the knight of water okay we may have had an emotional um, a very emotional reaction to this hit us deeply in the heart center uh, so it wasn't such an exciting thing but it has spurred us to ex uh, to move it's kind of like you know the butterfly effect when one little thing happens another thing happens another a chain reaction I feel like it set off a chain reaction in us but it was deeply emotionally affecting okay because the knight of water you I mean look at his crystal blue eyes right he is um <clears throat> how would you say and he is very clear of of heart this one that i'm when i because this is one of the decks i made up and i wanted to make sure that you could see in the eyes and the face and the care you know that this person has a lot of deep caring and they're very serious in the heart center so this is what i wanted to convey through this card and that's coming through as well is like 
this hurt me in, in a heart-centered kind of way, but it has also spurred me on in another direction. And that's really what it was meant to do, is to get you moving. Because the tower usually comes in when, when people are going, you know, everything's mixed up and we need to set it back straight and this is what's going on. So I don't know, again, I don't feel like the Virgo was off track. I just feel like this made them more ingrained. Yes, I got to go further down this road, right? So the night of water is where did it come from? Our heart. Our heart is spurring us to go forward. And that's the absolute right way to go here. So the eight of pentacles, again, it's an energy here of, of putting in a lot of work and overtime, but having a lot of energy for this in residual. And we may have someone here that's off the side that's kind of caught our interest, but we may have them kind of, what do you call that? Have it all wrong is a sense, or have something wrong about our opinion of them. So on top of that, we get the Knight of Air. Mm. The Knight of Air, that's an air element. This guy, you never can trust him. <laughs> I feel like that's the object. We don't trust that person. Da, 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 da. Like we're suspicious. That's what the Knight of Air conjures up. So there is someone here that I feel like there's a great distance, but it's kind of like outside of our social circles. We have someone that we just don't, we don't trust them, right? And the Virgo's high with their gut. And there's something there that's causing that behavior in them, in the Virgo. And the Knight of Air, he can't be trusted. He is shifty as, as almighty. Like he, you don't know what direction he's going to fly off into. He's a knight. He don't have things solid. He can go in any direction, be spontaneous, do things, this kind of stuff. So somewhere this energy is sitting. And I feel like, well, what they're making me feel is the fact that we may be coming from our heart and we don't know if this person outside of us is coming from their heart. We don't know what their agenda is. We think they're shifty and we think there's something up here. That's what I'm getting. Okay, I had this energy in another reading. Oh, man, it just refer back to readings. You're, you look at your sun, moon, and rising. And, well, if you're looking in romance, Venus. But sun, moon, and rising are the main ones that, that you can relate to. Look at those in your chart and go back to the either one or two sets of readings I had on Rumble and see if you can't make a connection here to that reading. Again, I don't exactly know off the top of my head what reading it was, but there's a reading here of someone getting someone else. Like a wrong judgment. Yeah, oh, now I know what it is. But I'm not going to tell you because I want you to go through your sun, moon, and rising. Go f There's free charts out there. They'll tell you what your sun, moon, and rising is. As long as you have your birth date and location, they'll figure all that out. Go through those readings and see if that doesn't pop up in your field. If it does, there's a validation point for what I'm saying. And it's also a need to look at this more clearly. Um, the sense is universe is going to slowly unveil this person to you in all you know in all that they are they are doing this anyway but we are really focused on other things but there's something here there's a, a need to look at that person from a different perspective but the virgos holding on to the perspective and the perspective that they have is this is shifty i don't trust it and i don't know what this person's about or where they're coming from and i i don't trust it so there's something here we need to learn about that and not giving me all the keys, but two characters here, Knight of Water coming from their heart. And I feel like that's <clears throat> the Virgo energy, the earth energy coming into water. They are moving a little swifter than they normally would. Again, a lot of excitement here over this tower. And it's spurred on by heart action because I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm part of the greater good and we got to get this moving. Like this has got to flip over kind of thing is the sense I get. Six of Pentacles, what do we get there on the feminine? Nine of Air. Okay, something about our finances here or equal give and take. We may be stressed or kept up at night. Something about our finances. Our finances may not be coming in as much effort as we're putting out. And the sense that they were giving me too as well is to pay attention to that. Uh, I think we are, but in a stressful kind of way. But the thing is, don't put too much effort into things that don't pay off in the physical Um is kind of what I'm getting here. 
But the Virgo's kind of smart enough to know that. So I don't know where. This may be in a different area. Maybe in an emotional area. But nonetheless, <clears throat> the pentacles is what they started with. So the money has something to do with it. I mean, maybe, you know, kind of our funds may be getting lowered. So there may be a little bit of stress having to do with that. Okay. Along the track here. Overall, I feel like we have a firm basis, but uh, we may be watching our finances at this time or in the near future and need to do so. So on top of the Knight of Water, what do we get from the Work Infinity deck? Decisions. The Tower, right? And then the Heart Centered. We had to make a decision here or it prompted us. Again, it prompted us. The Tower, that shocking thing that happened prompted a, an emotion out of us that made us make a decision to move forward in a certain kind of way <clears throat> up or down where are we going to go this kind of thing so on the eight of pentacles the knight of air again we're we're perceiving someone as shifty and whatnot and the universe is going we need to look at that deeper we need to see something here like <clears throat> and i do feel them quite removed from you though because you know what's throwing me is the fact that he's you know he's looking like he's he's making a picture of art for her it's like okay you're naked now pose right so this woman's posing thinking that he's drawn a picture of her but he's actually drawn a picture of the pentacle which would be all earthly things and this is in the upright there's none of them upside down which is good <laughs> um yeah and it's all about the money but there's a perception of something outside of the money that we need to change, okay? Knight of Air, again, that's that shifty energy. And all that energy is going into that other person. We th feel like this other person has an agenda. And I don't know if that's exactly what uh, the universe wants you to see there, okay? Uh, on top of the Knight of Air, next card we get is male employee, okay? This could be... Instead of a masculine feminine, it could be a male employee that we're actually looking at. Um, hmm. Yeah, we may have people under us. This is kind of different energy that they're bringing in here. Give me a minute. Okay, there's a, a sense of looking at someone from the... Not quite understanding who they are and what they're about, Okay. And Knight of Air is emphasizing that dislocation of that energy. Now, on top, I'm going to leave this male employee. I feel like it's a different cutoff from this little scenario here. <clears throat> we'll get back to that. Because I'm really, I'm not, I'm not getting, where does this energy go? I'm not getting anywhere. So let's go to the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Air. Again, we're stressed about money here or you know, getting money for what we're doing is the sense that I'm getting. On top of that, we get the charm. Hmm. Uh, they said a need to be more charming. Uh, are we isolating people in the charm department? Therefore, we're not. I don't know what we do for work, frankly. But the sense they're giving me is if uh, we could probably make a lot more if we were a little more, a uh, little less harsh about things. This is what I'm getting. We're stressing because things are... Are we offending people at work? And what does that have to do with our income? Because this is what I'm getting. We're offensive and people are not... Are they, we're turning people away by our uh, being offensive. This is all I'm getting, okay? So maybe turn on the charm a little more and the, the finances will come in a little more... Um, a little easier. We won't have to work as hard if we we turn the charm on is the sense okay now as we get into the third road i'm still not getting much with this male employee but we'll continue the cat tarot on top of the decisions the towers come down in our life here just recently it has brought about some great emotion we made some decisions because of it <clears throat> then we get the queen of wands on top of that you know it's interesting to me not a lot of earth element here <laughs> Like, I mean, we start with the pentacles, the basis, but to accentuate on that, we got a lot of other energies. So we are really out of our element at this time. Not only are we moving quack, uh, quicker, faster, <clears throat> quacker, quicker, faster into things more than we would normally, 
But there's a great passion here that's being unleashed is a sense. And look at the kind of, they're, they're referring me back to the Six of Pentacles. <sighs> Trying to share with others is the sense I get here. This Queen of Wands is a new energy, and every time I pull it, it's kind of different. And today as well, it's given me that, it's referring back to the Six of Pentacles, which is equal give and take. Are we equally giving outward what we're getting inward? So if people are caring and loving toward us, are we going out in the same way? I'm getting this with the charm is making me think. We're not. We're going out or aggressively. And we need to tone that down. Is that a case here? Okay. Um, yeah, because they're going, this is what we need to highlight. Because we can't go outward in combustive energy and expect to continue the flow of great loving energy because it's going to start petering off and maybe we're seeing effects of that maybe we're seeing <clears throat> we're seeing that okay hmm yeah okay i'm gonna leave it at that and the queen of wands she always takes charge she knows her worth and she um a lot of times she doesn't have to impress that outward, but if she's in the negative, she will push that outward like you respect me and da, da da da. But when we're in the positive pole of that, our energy, if we're confident and secure in ourselves, we don't have to push it outwards. We don't have to say you respect me. You just act as such and you have grace and dignity, this kind of thing. We may have some lessons to learn in this department. Okay, next row. Male employee, what do we get from the cat card there? Six of cups. Okay. Now we may have, if we're feminine, we have, may have a male employer, someone that we work with or someone in our surroundings that we have to deal with that may be coming from our past. Now this could be past life, so we may not recognize them <clears throat> as someone from our past right now, but when we meet them, we feel like we've known them for quite some time. And if you're masculine, you could have a male employee that is kind of like a, a soulmate that this is the same scenario. We got someone here that may have known us in a past life is now re joining us in this life. And this is all part of the plan is the sense. We feel great and wonderful feelings for it. We just feel we can trust them. We feel we know how they work. They know how we work. And, and this is all part of uh, what's going on here. That's where the male employee sits. He is someone from our past. <clears throat> Again, past life. I do not feel it is in this life. I feel it's in another life. So it's, it's not someone from our high school that we're joining uh, ranks with. It's someone from a past life is what I feel highly. And it's just someone that come in our life, you know, willy nilly here. But again, it's written. So they're going to be going along the path of what we're doing here um, in this time. And everybody feels groovy about that. So there's a sense of that here. Now on the Six of Pentacles, again, this the weird energy I'm picking up on a, of um, needing to kind of tone our character down a bit or be more charming to others because I feel like this Virgo is getting a lot of accolades. But they're going, this is going to slow down if we don't temper ourselves. It's almost like it's going to their ego. And now they're starting like with the, uh, how do you say, with the... Um, I deserve, you know, I deserve, you know, like I'm above. So watch that. Watch that if you're aware of that. On top of the charm card, the cat card we get is the knight of coins. Seeking. Give me a minute here. Give me the word seeking. <clears throat> yeah, financial sustenance. Though, um, this is highly connected to our ego is the sense. Give me a moment to... We, we do have enough finances to get us through here be careful we're not being greedy okay next be careful how we gain this money and the respect that we have for the people that gave it to us this is coming through so it's just a, a need to kind of self-correct we may be just going one step off of there it's not like we're completely disregarding but there's ways that we can um 
Yeah, there's a lesson here in the ego or how how we treat others with respect. Especially having to do with financial areas of where we earn our money. We have to learn to respect that in that way. Either we're coming off as disrespectful and not realizing, or we are disrespectful and um, things are going to start to slow down in that area, is the sense. If we don't auto-correct that, right? Something to do with the way we, we work with other people, like the charm. I feel like it's not there. They're going, we got to turn on the charm here. We're becoming harsh and whatever. And I don't know if it's this tower moment that created a flux. Because this is what I'm feeling very much for the Virgo. That this tower moment created such a fire under their butt. That now they're they're going way faster than they would normally in their earth element. Normally they creep tiptoe forward. And they're very on top of things. And I feel like now they're, you know, maybe the, the character and the charm is the place that they lose their stability because they're moving too fast and uh they may not pick up on that that's kind of what i'm getting okay next row here as we shut her down <clears throat> on top of the queen of wands energy again i'm getting like equal give and take be careful how we, res we respect the, the places our money comes from this kind of thing so that we're not um there's not going to be a slowdown in this on top of that card the masculine Infinity Tarot is the King of Earth. Okay, there he goes. There he goes, back into his place. Now, this guy does have a bit of an ego to deal with here, but he's earned it. So the sense is we can get this under control quite quickly. Like I said, uh, the energy they're giving me is we're just one step off that path of respect. So it's not like we're going out dissing people, but we're inadvertently offending people, and we need to halt that and take note of that to correct that. And see that coming. And this king of earth man, he's in charge. He knows. <laughs> Again, you know, his buddies, he kind of plays up. But when it comes to the people he needs to respect his life, his wife, his family, these kind of things, he gets it in line real quick. So this tells me that, yes, he will. And even though he may be a little off here, he will bring it back into alignment. And 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 he knows his place. And, uh, you know, I'm still the king. He still has that ego, but he knows when to put it in the trunk. Okay, so this is good. That's good. <laughs> Starting to worry, Virgo, but no, not really, because the energy wasn't too far gone before we can correct it. And just to highlight, and it may even be something we're highlighting ourselves and auto correcting ourselves and getting back on track with. And as we move forward, things can be a lot smoother, including the money department, because we might have seen a slowdown in the money department. Again, a lot of people don't believe in this, but doesn't mean it ain't true. When we lose track of something spiritually it can it can be you know um diminished in other departments so in other words if we lose our respect our money can start slowing down as it comes in and uh this is what they're showing me a correlation for your energy field is if we don't learn to respect and be thankful and grateful for every area that we have coming in th you know these things can start to dwindle well, it's just like being disrespectful to a boss. Then suddenly you're, oh, you're out of here. And then you got no income, right? Boom. There it is. So it's, it's, it's like that on a lower level. <clears throat> Not lower, lower, but uh, meaning on a lesser degree. Okay. So as we go into the Six of Cups, again, we have someone either under us or, or you know, around us. I feel like we work together with them to accomplish something. This person is part of our uh, soul crew, and they are part of our past life. For so what reason? Uh, I feel like this person needs confirmation that their own instinct is bringing them to this conclusion. Because they're going, man, like, I know this person. I feel like I've known them all my life. Like, I get ask them a question, and we go on the dating game, and I know every bloody answer you know or whatever or like you know when they have those goofy games where you what would you do or what would you pick what's your favorite ice? they know every answer for this person and it doesn't even mean a uh, an intimate relationship it just means um a friendship they know them inside out and that other person knows them inside out and they don't need a long lineage of knowing them since grade school 
to, to figure that out. It's just someone. And I do feel a Virgo had an instinct about this, and this is their validation for that. So on top of the Six of Cups, the masculine card we get there is Three of Water. Yeah, it's a very happy feeling that we get with them. We want to, you know, mingle with them. The Three of Water is champagne glasses. Yay, celebrations. We want to, you know, we like spending time with them, period. That's what it is. We have enjoyment. We go out. We celebrate. We socialize. It's all good. It's great and wonderful. It's it's part of our social circle, and this is at this time is very soothing to the Virgo. Okay, uh, the next row here: Six of Pentacles, Nine Charm. We end up with the Knight of Pentacles, um, and I was saying I didn't have a lot of Earth stuff. And now look at it fill up. <laughs> Happy King with his money <laughs> and as we lay the last card for the virgo we have the nine of earth well would you look at that <laughs> so what happens here is this man or whatever or woman and take charge energy they are at a point in their life where they're learning some lessons i feel about grace and how to treat others is really what i get sorry move the microphone there um yeah there's something to do with how we, how we're perceived by others. And it seems like something happened here. Either maybe it was to do with that, the tower, you know, come out. Maybe we had someone, something shocking come to us to kind of set us straight in the character department. Like, you know, um, set us right is what they said. And because of this, you know, it may have hurt us on an emotional level, which sometimes this stuff does, right? Sometimes it should bring about an emotional reaction in order for you to change it. And I feel like, what do you know? The King of Earth, he went and he did, he changed it. Somebody brought something to his attention, like, either you're being too harsh or, you know, don't disrespect me or whatever. And they may not have even perceived it as disrespect, but now getting that outside opinion, right, is the sense that I get. They've auto-corrected. And because of this, uh, they, you know, they can still stay in line with their friendship. It may have even been from this em male employee. I'm saying <clears throat> someone we work with may have even, it may have even come from there. But nonetheless, uh, it's corrected. You know, we, we hit a, a, what do you call that? A strike in the ego department because we may have kind of been floating a little too high on our britches anyway. And if somebody knocked us down a lot and then we're like, yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have done it. Or, you know, I should have treated it differently or I could adjust that. And uh, now we're back on top because we're paying attention to that now, hopefully in the future. And the sense here is the nine of earth. That's about, you know, being on top of things. And the sense they were giving me is if we didn't get on top of things, our finances would go because that's where we pay attention. That's where we go, wait a minute, what am I doing? That we would absolutely stop everything to a complete halt in order to figure things out. And, and maybe this is what happened, you know. Um, but in the meantime, they are back on top of things, uh, acting like a boss. The King of Earth and the Nine of Earth, that, that goes very well together. <laughs> With the three of water in between, it means our social life is fine. We're feeling like a king. So our ego is, is <sighs> we have an ego. But again, we know who and what, where we can put it. So we're learning lessons, I think, to finally tune that to a degree. And not only that, we're doing well in the financial, back on top in our finances. And, and this little auto adjustment in the character department is going to help us with the inflow of money because it's going to sweeten pots or sweeten things outside of. In our, I feel like it's at work. It's like we, we're being nicer to people at work and therefore they want to work with, with us more and therefore the money comes in and flows. Boom. We're back on top. So a little bit of a lesson to do with character here that we had to learn. But nonetheless, we learned it and guess what? We're in our, what is that? Mercedes and going forward. <laughs> so Virgo. Again, I get a kick out of your readings. They're so fun. But anyway. Um, there is somebody here that we have an, uh, you know, a perception wrong. And again, that may be that person altogether. They may have corrected that and then everything's smooth from here. And, um, 
Yeah, you can't get better than that. So the fortune card we have for you is judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. <clears throat> Don't give up the, um, you know, the ability to look at the self and say, what am I doing wrong? Am I contributing to something here? Or am I not contributing to something I should be? This kind of thing. Um, I feel like judgment came upon them, the Virgo, and they bossed up. They took charge, and it, like the Virgo should, is like, I'm not doing things right, blah, 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 blah. They look at self-evaluate. Okay, yeah, I could change that. Okay, let's change that. And then guess what? We get another star because we did the right thing, we made the right change, and we're going in the right direction. <sighs> Dear diary, <laughs> they're showing me a lock on here. There's something here. Just a minute. <laughs> they get little secrets. inner peace is the is it, this is what we want to gain the most inner peace and they go we're on our way but we can't leave ourselves out of the mix we can't just say everybody outside of me be peaceful we can't do that without ourselves carrying that weight of uh, like not weight but <clears throat> yeah it, if it's peace it's not heavy is what they said <laughs> Um, without, our, like, there's something about blaming others for not having peace when they, we have to look at ourselves and gain our self peace and then everything else, then other people that aren't aligned with that will just kind of fall away. They'll lose interest. And those chaos makers, we want them to lose interest. We want them to go in and amongst other people that are chaos makers, right? So there's something about this, you know. Uh, with this last card, a lot of energy there, and also a lot of star <clears throat> stars here that show me the stars coming off the pen. So that one that brings me to our imagination can run wild, is what they said, and also it brings me to the light of God coming down and touching us in certain ways, and it may inspire us to want to jot things down. In the sense here is. Uh, try and keep a diary with all our insp inspirational thoughts that come from above. Try and keep a diary and see what happens. If we can't make, if that doesn't help puzzle pieces fall into place kind of thing. Yeah, this person's really, because they're going, <laughs> in my head as I'm serving the message, I'm going, there's a lot of extra energy here. And they're going, that's because this person is connected. And whenever we have troubled people that are connected, we want to set them straight. We want to give them the hints they need to move forward more quickly. <clears throat> so respect, right? Because we're coming from the same side of the tracks here. And though some people, they exhibit it in different ways, doesn't necessarily mean that they're dark. So there's someone here that we're perceiving outside of us as being dark, but they're coming from the same source. As hard as, it, hard as it is to filter things in the 3D, it's the same way when we are in um, channeling energy. It's the same way. But there's a respect here, or disrespect, that needs to be illuminated because just because we get it from a different way doesn't mean that we're not coming from the same place. And they're going, this reading is case in point, but they're, they're going to need more than that. They're going to need more, and they're going, that's okay, because this person is on the, the light side. Have no doubt. But as time goes on, we will learn more about this, so have faith. Uh, okay, wow, personal message channeling just right from the top there. <laughs> and uh, I, I feel the need to say this. <clears throat> I'm actually currently taking a, a, a little bit of a course in connecting and discernment because recently I've had um, instances where uh, energies can come in and sneak their way in and pull things off. And so I'm just up in my game there and um, probably by next month, well, the next set of readings, I'll have a more firm grip on that area because there's, there's a lot of times where I, I like to not like... I won't say that, but I get guided to go into the dark areas, but not very deep. Uh, you know, I feel the need to tell you this story. <clears throat> okay, we're going there. In the past, um, <laughs> like my energy from what I've been told is highly protected. 
Why? Because they're of God and light and love. Okay. Uh, again, a lot of people see me as, as the devil because I work with cards to do it. And I channel energies and they see that as something that is of a negative. Right away they disregard you. No matter, they will not even listen to the message. <clears throat> but if they listen to the message, they might see that it's different. Because I'm trying to help those in light gain more perspective. Because in every level here, we're always being tripped up by the next thing the devil has on his list. And... It, that becomes challenging. You get to a higher level and then suddenly there's more tricks the devil has to get in. And sometimes they do. They get in. And um, this is what I'm trying to stay on top of at this point. And I'm also trying to go through my readings and say, okay, is this going to harm anybody? Or is this have the ability to harm anybody? And they're going, that's not the energy we need to tap into. We need to tap into helping. We need to lock on that. So here's the story. In the past, <clears throat> this was even, be like, I mean, I was always a tarot reader. I always just, like, I was born with a Ouija board in my hand. Again, another. And that is one that can absolutely bring in a lot of shit. If you're not of pure love and light, it'll bring in shit for you. And especially if you're going in there to find it. It's got a bad reputation and that follows it, right? So anyway, <clears throat> But when I was younger, uh, not so far, I was still an adult here. And uh, there was, like, I'm all into this, you know, energetic stuff. And mostly on the side of finding soulmates and self-actualization. That's my goal. <clears throat> but what happened was I was getting in a, into a bunch of people. We were out at the pub talking about things. And, and it was around this time of year. And we were talking about this one girl. She's kind of like, she watches horror movies, all this stuff. She just, yeah, she likes to be scared. And she was talking about this one place that was local to where we were at uh, that's haunted. And they went there and she's telling all the stories. And I was like, oh, I wonder what I would pick up because, uh, you know, because being uh, an intuitive. And she goes, yeah, man, you'd pick up anything. She says, I don't do what you do. And there was shit going on, man. We were running out of there. Like we one girl lost a phone, a flashlight, because they ran so fast because so much stuff was going on. I was like, you know, I don't know. I didn't have a feeling either way, which should have been a, <laughs> should have been a red flag for me. But I was like, you know what? Because we're talking amongst, there was a tattoo artist, this girl, <laughs> um, and a, a couple other people. And we're like, yeah, let's go. Like, let's go to this house and see. And then I said, well, we could take the recorder and I could see what I pick up, you know, like for voices or anything. And kind of do like an investigation of this haunted house, basically. And, <laughs> and we all planned to do this. So, like, there's three of us on board. One was going to drive because she knew where it was. <clears throat> and that was the deal. So what we were going to do, I think, I don't know what day of the week it was, but we're like, yeah, on the weekend, let's go on a Sunday, whatever, <laughs> holy day. Uh, let's go out there. So what happened was we all made an appointment, put it all in our cell phones, and we said, yeah, we'll meet up then, and, and uh, we'll go see this haunted house. What ended up happening is all four of us people, our phones didn't alert us, the day went by. We got caught up in things. We all missed it. Four people missed, completely slipped our minds. And what I'm learning now, like this is about 10 years ago, this happened. And what I'm learning now is this is a form of protection. We did not think your soul was ready to go in and get attacked by these energies and that's the thing when you set up things like this and this is the time of year that people do that those people that are not fully charged fully armed and prepared they can get caught with things hanging off them and, and it could destroy their lives because there's there are energies out there that are negative and bad but they're you see the universe is going but the one you're looking at it's it's not that dark they may get tripped up just as we do, but it's, their intention is not to do so. So there's an answer. Wow, they gave me goosebumps over that. So there's an answer there needed to be said. But but yeah, and I find that, that I there's things like that that happen that are miraculous. Like one person forgetting, yeah. Then you text them and you are we still going? Da, da, da. But all four of us got distracted. 
And we went back after and I knew exactly because I've had things like this happen before and they're going, you're not meant to go there. You're not meant to go there. You're not prepared and you're not. So, you know, and I have enough of a, what do you call that? I have enough grace to admit that I don't know everything, but I have a curiosity to want to go into things. And I'll tell you, you get protected from that. So whenever you get a little nudge, it says, ah, I got to back off. Just listen to that. Listen to that because it's protecting you even as much as the Virgo wants to get to the bottom of things. The universe is trying to protect you. So when you have situations where things like this happen, it may be infuriating. I didn't make the appointment. I didn't get the... It may be for your highest good that you didn't get there at that time specifically. For whatever reason, it could be as... Um, as simple as an accident that would happen on the way, or it could be as high as that person is in, in the wrong energy field for you to even connect with. So there you go. Okay, we're going to end it there. <laughs> it's a lot of energy here. Virgo, your readings are quite interesting. I, I um, They energize me in ways, and again, they match the curiosity that I have as well. And I think it's because uh, Pisces and Virgo are opposite ends. They're the opposing energies, I think, too, as well. So there's a lot that that can learn from each other. Right, the Virgo's more on on um, on point and in charge, and you know the boss man, and the Pisces is kind of on the other end of that. They're willy nilly, they back and forth, but but yet there's things that we can learn from those personality types to complement us, no less. But anyway, take care, have fun, be kind, happy Halloween, and don't go into any haunted houses if you don't have to. <laughs> take care. We'll talk to you soon.